attacks that we deal with. Okay, seven attacks are a push, push, a haymaker punch. Uh, Put on tell them a little bit, Dr. Marshall. Make them come back. Make them come back. Make them come okay. back. We got headbutt attacks and knees, and we got, of course, you know, the, I talked about earlier the broken, broken bottle and knife defense kind of stuff, headlock stuff. Okay, but what happens is this person comes in, okay, I might get the headbutt, or I might get a knee. Okay? Guy might be trying to jack me up in this fashion, boom, throw that knee in. So it's nice and soft so he can come in and hit me with something else. Okay? Also, we could get this kind of mentality of person pushes me, finds an easy target, and comes in with a strike of some sort. Okay? Uh, a lot of times we work on this in basic self-defense where we grab, hold, punch. Okay? And what happens? A lot of times we focus on this. Okay? We focus on this and doing wrist locks, we focus on this, this kind of stuff. And what happens is we say, well, you know, what really will happen is, as he's going to punch, I will have enough time to do that before he hits me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Hey, bye, right? bye, 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 DVD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, watch this. It's real quick. Well, yeah, you've been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, it is real quick. Okay, so from here, as the push comes in, or the push comes in, it's just a setup. It's checking my defenses. Okay, he pushes me, I'm pushing him back, we're ready to roll. Okay, this punch comes in. What we're going to deal with here is similar situation. Instead of the head coming in, we're going to use this kind of unorthodox or this uh, kind of layman type of punch. Okay, bar brawl punch. And as it comes in, this haymaker kind of style. Most people identify their problem with you with your face. Okay, when they want to hurt you, they want to come after your face. Okay, because they want that to shut up. Okay, that's what they're mad with. They okay? usually don't focus in on all these other wonderful targets that we learn as martial artists. So as they're focused on your face and you know to do this, it's a different kind of technique okay, that works. Okay, or that you can grab the groin or kick low or something like that. But once they're identifying your face after a push, okay, that punch comes in, we're going to deal with this something real simple. It okay, doesn't matter what position I end up in. Okay, I've done a push here. He's coming back with his haymaker. It doesn't matter what this. Come on, Steve. You know to get me. Come on. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter what kind of position. I'm going to use this that we just had just for simplicity's sake. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a technique right off of this. Okay? Again, it's a similar kind of technique from the same, same kind of defensive position, and all we're going to do is we're going to separate. This one hand is going to come to the head. This hand knows he already knows to get his head back out of the way. Okay? Most people don't. Okay? So from here, this hand's coming in. Boom. This hand's going to be reaping, okay? and we're coming into this kind of technique. There's so many wonderful, fun things we can do from here, from breaking an arm, breaking the neck. We're going to have a lot of fun with that, real quick. Okay, so from here, as that punch comes in, boom, I'm just separating out. You may have seen something in a form that looks like this, okay, or like this. Okay, from here, separating out and hitting, okay, and then we're going to snake that arm. We're going to have some fun with that. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, so real quick with your partner, okay, we've got this push going on, back and forth, you the punch, boom, here.